Hey, hey, it's Simon, Leanne, hi done. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, good evening. <laughs> hello, hello. We're going to wait for a few people to join us and I'm going to do some sharing. And why don't you tell everyone what our topic is today? Ah, awesome. Well, thanks, Lee. Um, our topic this evening on our Facebook Live is Regain Your Sovereignty. So we're going to talk about um, how people can regain their sovereignty in their life. What is sovereignty in your own life all about? And uh, just pop your details in. Let us know that you've joined us as you come on. Um, great to be here this evening. I can see Ida's joined us. Bruce, Gabby. Hello, Hi, Ida. hello. Hi, Hi Gabby. We've Hi, just Faye. seen all you guys. We have. <laughs> And Faye, hey Faye. Faye's here, welcome. Leanne over in uh, New Zealand, welcome to you. Aida. And Dee. And uh, we've got Shani. Shani's just joined us and watching, so welcome to you Shani, hello. I'm just sharing. <laughs> Great to see you guys uh, just recently at our event in um, Sydney. Uh, arrived home yet, uh, Sunday night ourselves. Uh, yesterday was a day of catch up, but uh, great to be back into it. And this course is our last Facebook Live before Christmas. Yay. So, um, and last time we did a Facebook Live, uh, you were Leanne Bartlett. I was. And we got married. Now I'm a different person. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? So we got married um, between the last Facebook Live and this one. So uh, uh, lots of exciting things happening, of course. And heading into Christmas, it's even more exciting. We've got family and all sorts of things going on. And we'll talk about that in a moment, but uh, great to have you all here. Pop your, say hello, pop your details in the little I'll chat. Let us know you're share. here. Hi to Monique, hi to Peggy. Um, can see you both there. Hi to Jacinta's just joined us. Um, Dee says congrats. Lots of love, Yay. The love, I love it. Paul's just joined us and watching. Great to have you here, Paul. Uh, so again, if you've just joined us, pop your details in. Let us know. I can see Cindy's watching over in Singapore and uh, Francis. who else have we got coming out there? Francis right. says hello. Hi, Francis. Hi, Jacinta again. Lots of love and likes. So uh, give us, let us stay here. Pop your details in the little chat and uh, let us know that you've joined mm -hmm. us. And our topic for this evening is regaining your sovereignty. So we're going to touch on what all is right. sovereignty? How do you regain your sovereignty in life? <clears throat> and what's it all about? All right, I'm all shared. You're all shared? I am. We are done. So we've had a, a big couple of weeks since we uh, were live last time. We've had an amazing couple of weeks since we were live last time. So we went live last time, was it the week before yeah, our wedding? It was the week old. The week of the wedding, yeah. yeah it was last like a couple of days beforehand. So what's happened since then? Well, we got married. We did. Husband and wife. <laughs> so uh, check out our Simon and Leanne page um, if you did want to see some photos and some video even. Oh, Cindy said she's got four, sore feet from dancing the night away. <laughs> Me too, Cindy. <laughs> on Saturday night. <laughs> I'm with you. Well, we're, we're back at the wedding. We had sore feet after that as well. <laughs> so it's been a big, uh, it's been a big two weekends for us. I uh, got married uh, the weekend before last, and of course had a, an amazing uh, ceremony overlooking Kira um, on the Gold Coast, mm -hmm. Kira Beach, and then we uh, came back here to our house and had eighty of our closest friends and family. Uh, rock the night away with uh, live sex music, and sex and chocolate, and um, and we had uh, great catering and great food and just great people. It was an awesome night. Yep. And we wrapped up that, and then we flew to Sydney on we uh, Monday. And what we did we do there. Well, we headed down, had a couple <laughs> of days uh, just out and about in Sydney, Monday and Tuesday, and then we went into a workshop on Wednesday with some of our business associates. So we spent a couple of days uh, with them doing some intensive marketing training. Yep. And then we rocked into the company's Super Saturday event. We had a leadership dinner, first of all, on Friday night. And that involved all the leadership that are involved in our online business. And uh, and then from there, we uh, rocked into Super Saturday, which was a online business presentation in the morning. Uh, very, very successful. And then we had a distributor training day in the afternoon, which was both successful and emotional. And a uh, big congratulations to Leanne Haggard here. Who took out the equal number one spot for top income earner for the company for 2019. Five years in a row. So congratulations. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Give us some love. Show us some love. <laughs> Give me some love. Come on. Where's the love for that? <laughs> um, so no, it's been a, a great couple of weeks. Um, it's good to be home for a couple of weeks though and just be able to get back into some stuff and do some stuff before we head off on our honeymoon. Oh, there's some love. Faye's sending you oh, some love. Thanks, Faye. <laughs> So yeah, the answer so, woo. <laughs> Who else is? Oh, Cindy. oh, Cindy's giving you some love. And Paul's Bruce. giving you some love. Now Bruce is. Now they're, <laughs> now they're giving you some love. Come on. It's a bit slow. 
And Jacinda says, just amazing what you can pack into a week. Well, I know. You know, I, I guess I'm, what I want to start off with, Lee, is you got up on stage receiving your award and, and it was a bit of a shock, really, wasn't it? First it was. of all, what <laughs> was, what was, what was, what was, why was it a shock? Um, because we tied. Tied? Ali That's and right. I, Ali, Ali and Paul and myself tied. <laughs> so that was a shock to everybody, I think. So now I know that when you got up there, um, you know, not only were you sort of overcome with the whole shock that you tied, and it's never happened in the history of the company where you've got two people uh, actually tie for first place top income earner. So that's remarkable in itself, and just the way that you know both of you guys conducted yourself in the in the spirit of gratitude and you know in the spirit of each other and competition and all that sort of thing is amazing. But uh, one of the things is that. You know, I don't th really think everyone knows how busy a year you had. And you, you mentioned some of it, but there was so much you left out. <laughs> and I'm like, you didn't even say this. <laughs> You've come back and gone, I didn't say didn't this. Thank I didn't anyone. thank the team. I didn't thank you. <laughs> so do you want to share with everyone, you know, what happened that last year? Like, okay. Um, where do I start? You might have to help me because I... Well, I you know, remember. I think you mentioned that uh, we went overseas to Thailand four times. Yep. So I went to Thailand four times. I went to Vegas in the US yep. for my 40th birthday. And, a, and an event in Seattle. Yeah. Uh, bought a house. We bought a house. In April and moved in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and renovated it before and we renovated. moved in. And you moved from the Sunshine Coast I as moved well. from the Sunshine Coast at the end of July um, uh, to the Gold Coast. We've actually done two Super Saturday training days. Actually, we've done three this year. Done three. We did in one in total. January. Yep. One in Seattle in August and then Sydney again in December. Yeah. And we've gone to many other places, like short little trips here and there as well. We we've have. stayed on Noosa and we've stayed, you know, all different places, are, you know, every kind of second weekend almost, I think. Yeah, we've, we've done quite Brisbane. a bit of travel. So um, quite a bit of travel, uh, been overseas. Got divorced. Um, bought a house, you got divorced. Got to, married. So we could get married. <laughs> So it was a good In thing. that order, <laughs> just saying. Um, <laughs> so lots was, of stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else. Was there anything else? Oh, it's been a, been a pretty uh, monumental, monumentous. Is that monumental? Whatever that. And word I and was. and we planned the wedding too. We didn't have a wedding planner. So. No, we we did it all ourselves, and of course, all of those <laughs> things we did ourselves. So, uh, you know, it keeps us busy in behind the scenes. But when you consider everything that was going on and everything that we've done. Um, over the last 12 months, as well as, you know, run the business and been on purpose and, and, um, and maintain the, the number one top income earner, I think it's a credit, credit to you. Oh, thanks. All right, enough about me. Let's jump into it. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, have that song go. Life begins at 40, says Georgina. Uh, Peggy says, exactly, superwoman. Yeah, look, it's, uh, you know, but it's all about planning, right? It's about being organized. And certainly that's one thing that you are super organized. So... Um, it allows you to to be able to make the time to do all these other wonderful things that that uh, you know that we can create and put our time and energy into. And Cindy says no excuses. Absolutely. And no, no, absolutely. And and uh, now we're sort of looking at okay, what's the what's the big thing going to be for this year for twenty twenty? <laughs> so we need to really plan out um, some of the goals and some of some of what we want uh, to achieve know, in twenty twenty. I know one goal. Going yeah. on going on a boat over in Europe watching uh, some. Uh, Cars <laughs> yes. race around. <laughs> yes, well, that's certainly on the top of the goal list, that's for sure. Well, let's talk about our topic, which was regaining our sovereignty. And I want to just re read out uh, a little paragraph out of um, our uh, Beyond Freedom Evolution course, which we uh, use. And, and, you know, we're talking about topics out of that. But, you know, regaining your sovereignty is all about being in control. It's all about taking control mm -hmm. of your own life. And um, there's a, a great phrase that uh, that we use and I've actually got typed up and on the wall in the office and actually when I was talking to Eden your PA Lee who does a lot of the setup work behind the scenes for us and uh, she was setting up the topic for this week after I gave it to her and I read out this phrase and she said that's on the wall in the office and I said yeah it is um, so there you go so it is I am the absolute supreme authority over my life I am always will be and always have been at cause of how I experience my life. And I think that is a great statement um, for the year that we've just had mm -hmm. for 2019. I love what Cindy wrote. I expect you to double your income without all those distractions. <laughs> I like that, Cindy. That is uh, However, powerful Cindy, manifesting. There is a lot of stuff coming up next year. <laughs> no, mar no weddings and divorces, but there's <laughs> lots of travel and lots of cool things. Someone's 50th 
Yeah, yeah. and we're also we're we're heading off to uh, we're heading off to uh, Maldives um, oh, yeah. in a couple of weeks, and then we come back, and then we're off For to Thailand. Then we're off to Thailand in <laughs> end of end of January, start of February, and then, and then we come back, and we're off to Thailand again in March for a, for our uh, eight day conference. Uh, and then I think we're heading over in June. Going, and then we're going to Europe. <laughs> going to Europe. <laughs> and then we're going over again in That's June. Right. And then it's your, your 50th. That's my 50th. <laughs> and then we'll probably go back to Thailand. Yeah. So <laughs> we, got, we got a lot on. There's no rest for the wicket. But, you know, you just got to plan it. But I love that. I love that saying. I am the absolute supreme authority over my life. I am, always will be, and always have been at cause as to how I experience my life. And I think that that is a really fitting topic and and saying about you know regaining your sovereignty and it's something that i think you can you know really attest to over the last 12 mm-hmm. months you know you um certainly um haven't regained your sovereignty what you've done is maintained your sovereignty mm-hmm. and that's all about uh you know being out there and and just being on purpose and being an individual and following your your life goals and your passion and and really just going after what you want to achieve mm-hmm. And like Cindy says, no excuses, right? So you yeah. you decide on what you want and you do what you need to do to make it happen. You yeah. don't just go, oh, well, that's all too hard and, oh, I've tried once and that didn't work or, you know, you just, yeah, you, you take responsibility, I suppose would be the word. You do take um, responsibility. And then you, you make it happen. Yeah, and it's and it's and it really is about um, uh, taking charge, taking control. You know, you've got to take control rather than being at the effect of Mm -hmm. others and at the effect of your circumstances because you can really be at the effect of your circumstances Mm -hmm. that's one big thing that uh individuals do learn is that you know ask yourself am i at the effect of my circumstances and what's going on around me or am i at cause and am i really actually um following you know what it is that i want to achieve am i going after it am i am i doing all that i can do in order to achieve the results and the goals and you know what, I, I see a lot of people, you know, say they have these goals. Oh, I have this goal that I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to achieve this. But you don't see them actually taking any action towards it. No, no, that's right. I totally agree. Yeah. So um, Gabby says Peggy. she loves that statement. Um, Peggy says must be committed and driven to achieve those goals. Absolutely. And uh, of course, we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have achieved half the stuff that we wanted to achieve last year. Um, if we weren't uh, on purpose, mm-hmm. if we weren't uh, structured, organised, working towards a goal, uh, if we didn't have um, clear vision on what it is that we were wanting to do, uh, if we didn't actually then take action on that, mm-hmm. it's one thing to you know set an intention, but it's another to actually then um, follow through with that intention. And it's that time of year again too, right? So to set some you know some new goals for 2020. If you haven't achieved what you wanted this year then start afresh, you know, set the goals in concrete, write them down and, you know, actually start ta- making some steps towards them. And, you know, something that I've always learned is, you know, create some stepping stone goals that you can then celebrate those little wins along the way as well, because that's just as important as achieving the big goal. Yeah, it is. And uh, it, I mean, that comes back to, we've spoken about that on a previous um, Facebook Live, which was all about counting your wins, um, you know, and, and that's certainly the case. But uh you know, I think with our, with our topic here, there's, there's something else that comes up for me and it's about, you know, we, we see life as a bit of a game. You know, it's, it's the game of life and it's what, we, it's what we set ourselves out to achieve in the game of life. Mm-hmm. And we can either really be a winner in the game of life or you can allow yourself to just be at the effect and allow life to suck, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> life can mm-hmm. suck for a lot of people if they choose for it to. Yeah. Um, but it's what you choose, you know, you choose to be happy, you choose to be on purpose, you choose to be at cause, you choose to go after your goals. Um, and that's about regaining your sovereignty. It's about taking power back. You know, don't be at the effect of somebody else. Don't be the effect of somebody who's negative around you. Don't be the effect of um, past relationships or or um, people that you've surrounding yourself with. You know, I talk to people about uh, some of the people that they surround themselves with, like friends mm-hmm. and family that are not really advising them um, positively on what they could be achieving. Yep. And I just saw Zandy's joined us. Hey, Zandy. Uh, Zandy's visiting Sydney from Zambia. So it's great to see you on Saturday. I've I got... saw her very briefly. She did <laughs> pop in and say hello, and I was talking to someone. So hi to you, Zandy. And we've got Bernie and Janet have just joined us. Janet's running late. Smack on the <laughs> wrist to you. <laughs> uh... Debbie says hi, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a whole conversation going on. 
Um, so yeah, so I don't know how we can make this one interactive today. So what can we get people to share with well, us? Well, I guess what I'd, I'd like to think is, um, <laughs> is what's, ah, oh, good question. You know, so do you believe that you're being at cause in your life? Or could you be more at cause in your life? Could you really, um, you know, rega to regain your own sovereignty? And I think a lot of people are, you know, if you're at the effect of uh, a job or a boss or a spouse or a partner that's holding you back, um, what could you do to change that? I don't know if people are going to want to share that. <laughs> no, they on there. What could you do to change it? You could be more at cause by taking, regaining your power. You know, it's about taking your power back and um, respecting yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you can do that in a really empowering way too, in a really positive way mm -hmm. by taking your power back. If if your power is getting taken away by others, and that could be people surround, friends that are surround you, it could be employers that you're working for, it could be um, contractors that you work with, it could be a whole range of things. So if, you, if you're not really in your power, how can you get that power back uh, of, in 2020? Lots of, Claire's just joined us. Hey, Claire, I'm just going to go a bit closer so I can read these. Uh, so D says, true, true, life can be sucky or happy. Um, Leanne. Hey, Grant. I see Grant over there in the UK <laughs> just uh, watching. So how do you? Leanne says, thanks to the BFE course, I'm finding myself able to not let others' negativity affect me. I can stay on course. Yeah, well, that's, that's a really important because um, there can be a very negative environment. If you're surrounding yourself with that, um, create a new goal today that I'm not stopping. Well, that's a great stopping anywhere when you're driving, you're not going to stop <laughs> <laughs> or on that plane. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um, Gabby says still learning this every day. Bruce says people give up on their power by thinking they don't have any. Mm -hmm. yeah, Gabby says you can one. always be more. Yep. Peggy, um, I resigned LOL to ensure I can focus and be committed to my business. Oh, that's awesome. See, that's about taking, stepping into your power, right? So it's leaving the, the job that you were in, Peggy, and going, you know what? I need to regain my power, take control, and actually do what I what I want to do, what I want, to, my passion, my you know, my love. What was that oh, comment missed, above there? Missed one there, whoops. Uh, so Gabby said? I am so grateful for the support I have by my family. Just need to believe in myself. Yes, Gabby. We did have this conversation on Saturday. <laughs> I'm just trying to... Narita says, I found... Oh, that's D. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, this too. Yep. I found that to now live and engage in the process more rather than just living and trying to survive. I was in survival mode for many years, now creating mode and actually finding the fun to live. Well, it's important. And, and you know, it's about taking, stepping back into your power. And uh, I think that's a really important aspect of what a lot of people don't do. They... As Bruce said, you know, they give away their power because they don't believe they've got it um, or don't believe they have enough power. But, um, you know, we're all powerful people and we all have goals and visions that we want to create. And you've got to you've got to be in control of that. And that's what regaining your sovereignty is all about. It's regaining that power. It's being on purpose. And, and I'll read out that little phrase again. It's I am the absolute supreme authority over my life. I am. I always, always will be and always have been a cause on how I experience my life. So we're totally responsible for how our life plays out. And that's what re your sovereignty, regaining your sovereignty is all about. It's about being in power and um, being a cause. All right, there's a couple other messages. Okay, so Janet says, I say no more. I can see Peter's joining us. Hey, Peter. Oh, she says, I say no. More. More, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Um, Zanny says their opinion is their business. Yep. Absolutely. That is. And that's the other saying that comes up. So what people think about me is none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's what comes to my mind. Um, Georgina replying to Gabby, that's me too. Thankful for my family and friends believe. Now it's time for me to believe I can too. Awesome. Well, that's uh, it's really important. Um, so anyone else want to, hello, hello newlywed, <laughs> says Peter. Hello, Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> we're just talking about that. So, um, you know, we're talking about regaining your sovereignty. Um, so if you've got something to share about how you can, how you're stepping back into your power, Bernie says, no one has the right to upset me without my consent. Exactly. Well, that's really, that's, uh, that's a powerful, uh, way to look at anything. Actually, I've got a couple of questions for everyone that's, uh, all of our followers. 
So two things. So one, would you like to see us do a weekly Facebook Live? Do you feel that that would be valuable? Do you feel that you'd have the time to jump on? That would be one question. Second question is, what would you like to see us, because um, we're going to relaunch our Unleashed, Simon and Leanne Unleashed, what would you like to see us do on that? So do you have some suggestions or any particular parts? Um... I think I just want to see what's going on. I think it's all about that. That's why we created it, right? It's a bit of a vlog style. Sure. And uh, I think we just, you know, we're, we're going to um, relaunch that in a, in a bigger way and in a different way. And we want to add value to it as well. So that's why I'm asking your opinion. Is there stuff yeah. that you'd like us to do or what would you like to see? Um, yes, I love the Facebook Live, so yes. Janet says yes. Yep. Thanks, Janet. Awesome. We might have to look at the times that we do them because yeah. they might uh, they might interfere with our um, with our business lives and uh, and just people's agendas and what's going on. So we may have to look at tweaking the time of our Facebook Live. Yeah, maybe. We may have to do that. Maybe, maybe. Uh, weekly Live, yay for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Dee. And Dee, you're a top fan, it says. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I can see, oh, I just saw Paul jump back on. So all good. Uh, Monique, weekly PD tips. Uh, Cindy, I like the current content of the Unleashed videos. Thanks, Cindy. Uh, Jacinta says, weekly love the live streams. Leanne says, once a week would be great. It's all about staying connected and feeling part of something, even when you are far away. Um, Bernie says, fortnightly Facebook Live is great. Well, you can just watch every second one, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking with you. No, it's uh, it's it's really it's really important that uh, you know that we do you know that we get out there and talk about. It. But we've got some great topics to bring, and we really want to add value, and we want to interact, and we want people's feedback, and and uh, that's a really great thing for mm -hmm. us. You know, it's we want to provide value in content and um, and add that value to other people, and of course have a discussion around it because it's always good to hear other people's um, thoughts on uh, on the topic. Mm -hmm. So again, the topic was regaining your sovereignty, taking back your power and being in control. So if you've got anything to share, pop it in the comments. Um, maybe an example as to where you've taken back control. I was going to say, I, um, Mick Island, you know, took control of Bernie. Of, uh, of took his control life, of Bernie? Took control of his life recently and <laughs> resigned from his job. I don't think so, he took uh, control of Bernie. No, I didn't mean it that <laughs> way. Just That's just the way I came across it. <laughs> so you know he's he's taking control of what he wants to do in in uh, you know running his business with his wife and mm -hmm. um, so that's a really that's a really big thing it's stepping into your power and uh, believing and trusting in yourself and that is a big one and a couple of people have mentioned that yeah. this evening that you know they've got to uh, they've got to trust in themselves and believe in themselves more mm -hmm. which is really important. I need to do something fun. They have little because it is Christmas. We need to find. A little Christmas one. All right. Here we go. Oh, there's a, there. I don't want a Santa hat. No, though. we don't know. What's that one? That one's you know, one of the fireworks. This one, one. This is cute. Oh, it's not really Christmas Eve, but it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's more of the, uh, the, oh, the know, marriage like... and the wedding one. If you keep going there, you're going to... Um... Knock the thing off. Yep. What? I, what can't, I can't see any Christmas ones. Is that Christmas? Uh, no, that's not Christmas. <laughs> it says true love, I think. <laughs> oh, that doesn't, no, that's not good either. That doesn't work very well, does no, it? Not when you got two of us on there. Okay. All right. Well, that was um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of fun, but we should have more of this one, I think. Um, this one here would be better. There you go. Ah, uh, there you go. Look there at that. Isn't that cute? We should do more of those. They're really <laughs> cute. Right. I like them. Put them on. So we got bubbles of love going around our screen. <laughs> Um, so it's all about, you know, what's it all about? It's all about what are you going to achieve in 2020? Love the discussions too, says D. Mick is always in control of me. <laughs> there you go. Ah, oh, you were right. Says Bernie. Hmm. Um, but, you know, these discussions are important and we want to uh, we want to interact and we want people to uh, share in the topics each week. So it's great to get your feedback. We really do love that and we appreciate it. And uh, But, you know, with 2020 approaching and we've got a, a busy week ahead, we've got... Um, uh, family coming down, my uh, eldest daughters. we celebrate two lots of Christmases. Yeah, we're doing two Christmases. Christmases. We've got my eldest daughters coming down with their partners this weekend to the Gold Coast, and we're doing a uh, Christmas weekend with them. Um, fine weather by the pool, having some laughs, having a you know, good old Aussie barbecue. And um, and then uh, next week, of course, we're doing Christmas Eve dinner. Oh, we're celebrating Bernie's birthday yeah. on Monday night. So um, Bernie Island will be over here at our place, so celebrating, eat for the next celebrating week, her birthday. So that'll be fun, Bernie. 
<laughs> and then uh, and then on Christmas Eve we've got uh, we've got a Christmas Eve dinner here with family and friends as well. Mm -hmm. And um, my mum's coming down from the Sunshine Coast for Chrissy, so that's uh, that's a big thing as well. And we got all the kids here, and then um, and then we're going to have some fun between Christmas and New Year. Take some time, time out. And we've got a friend's wedding who's getting married on New Year's Eve, 2020, 2019. So we're going to spend uh, New Year's with 120 people at their wedding. So that'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, and then we've got Jayla's birthday. Your yep, daughter's 13. birthday turns 13 in January, and then we're off to the Maldives. So we've got a really exciting next couple of weeks, really looking forward to the next few days and the lead up to Christmas. And Like I said, we're just going to um, eat for the next week. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to fit into my swimmers for the next <laughs> Um Bernie says, happy birthday to me. There's yes. another one she wrote higher up. Um, thanks for mentioning Mick. He says the business and this community is certainly a step up from the construction industry. Absolutely. Well, that's about taking control, right? Taking control. Eat, 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 haha, <laughs> lots of family, super fun, and then the honeymoon. <laughs> Absolutely. I got married on the 31st of December. It's the biggest bash. Wow. <laughs> well, it's my that's sister's awesome. birthday on the 31st as well. Wow, there so, you go. Awesome. That's All right, well, time. I think that due to time, well, we will wrap. Um, Absolutely. Well, heading been... to the Gold Coast for Christmas, too. Awesome. Oh, that's great, Georgina. Well, look, it's been, uh, it's been awesome hanging out this evening Yay. and just discussing uh, how to regain your sovereignty. You know, take control. We're 2020 approaching. And this will be our last, um, is it our last Facebook Live? Uh, um, or are we going to do one between Christmas and New Year? I think we will. Maybe. We'll do one between Christmas and New Year. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, that's very possible, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so keep an eye out. Uh, we'll let you know. But I'm um, thinking that could be a possibility. Or maybe we'll just do some lives. Yeah. That week. Yeah. And we'll just, just go live. Random lives. Yeah. Um, but it's been great. And we really appreciate you guys. And we love your support. And joining us each fortnight currently on um, our Facebook Lives. Yeah. And uh, we'll continue with the topics and selecting topics out of Beyond Freedom Evolution, which is the Master of Destinies program that um, we love through our personal development business. But I um, think we'll throw some other random kind of discussions and things in too. Yeah. Yay, sure. awesome. All right, well, thank you all of you and uh, sending you lots of love. See the hearts on the screen? Lots of love. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you and uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas, bye.